Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zan Ta of Repo Products. This screencast will showcase how to create a custom column in Revit 2017. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zan Ta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Revit 2017 on the Recent Files window. I'll click New under Families and we'll select Column. We'll click Open. And you'll notice you already have reference planes available for you with the quality conditions for width and depth of the column. You'll also notice that if you select a particular reference plane, define origins may or may not be checked. So the question really at the initial onset is where is the insertion point of this object? Uh, typically for columns, you'd place it dead center so that it rows equally left or right um, or top or bottom. So I'm going to select this one and put Define Origins as checked, as well as this one. Now where two reference planes meet that have Define Origins as checked, that's the insertion point. When we create a custom column <clears throat> in Revit, if we head over to the front elevation view, you'll notice you have a lower reference level and an upper reference level. So you know where the column starts at the bottom <clears throat> and where is it associated at the top. If I were to do a simple rectangular extrusion as a column, or a square extrusion as a column, I can use that extrusion command, draw it on the plane, those reference planes, align and lock, head over to a front elevation and finish the sketch. You can see that that column is created. We can drag that up and align and lock the top and the bottom to those planes and levels. That way they get adjusted and react accordingly. This is nothing more than a simple custom rectangular, square rectangular uh, column, custom column. A lot of people kind of approach it this way. Another way to approach creating a custom column would be instead of using the extrusion command, we could do a revolve command. So just imagine this reference plane center one here as our axis. And we can create a profile of whatever shape that we want to a certain degree and revolve it around that axis. So I'll click revolve and then here we have drawing the boundary line and the axis line. I usually like to start with specifying the axis line so that way we have a clear understanding of the axis that we're working with. Then I'll create the boundary line. The boundary line tool allows you to create a sketch that represents the profile and let's just say hypothetically our column is going to look like this within profiles. Now when you are in sketch mode, which is what this is, everything's light and gray, they're asking you to draw the magenta lines that represent the profile, which has to be a closed loop in this instance. There are certain uh, tools within Revit where the sketch can be an open sketch, meaning a non-closed sketch. An example would be the railing command. <clears throat> but in this particular example, I've created a very uh, just generic looking profile. And if you look very carefully under the instance property, you'll see an end and a start angle. And it defaults to 360 degrees, which means it's going to revolve it all the way around. I hit the green check mark, and it creates that shape. If I look at it in 3D, we have a custom column. You can take this and save this, obviously, as a family, and we'll call it custom column one. And we'll hit save. And now we can load it into the project and use it. Now, <clears throat> we'll head over to the new architectural template file is fine. We'll use control tab to jump back to the to our column and load into project. And then we can place it. To look at this in 3D, in the project environment, there's our column. Obviously, I can select it, and I can specify base offset or top offset. So I'll do a base offset of, say, minus 3 feet, and a top offset of, say, 2. And it will adjust accordingly. Now, if you are going to use the revolve command in a custom profile, <clears throat> like I did here, you're going to have to take into consideration within the family itself how you've sketched it. Because when we look at this and we go back to editing the revolve, you'll notice that this plane 
moves up because of the top offset, and this moves up because of the top offset, which means that this line here, angled line here, will stretch and skew. <clears throat> so you have to kind of think about the design of your profile and how you want it to look. Same thing with the base as well, because the top offset and the bottom offset may affect the overall appearance. <clears throat> Uh, you could always get into things like restricting the design and aligning and locking and creating multiple reference planes here vertically and horizontally and locking them and giving them parameters for you know this height or this height or this angle or this height, so on and so forth. But to keep it simple, this is one way to create a custom column within Revit 2070. Thank you very much.